start that looks beautiful from here, Neil. It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like much of the high desert of the uh, United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. I have a question that's just come in on our Hangout stream. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know exactly who sent it in, but the question says, how does it feel to see the Earth from the moon? You're standing on the surface. What does that feel like for you? Well, uh, you're not completely free to move around, and it takes a concerted effort to look up there. Right, because you're constrained by all of this. 24 degrees uh, from the straight up. Yeah. Zenith or something like that. So it, uh, you don't do that all the time. You might trip and fall right. over something. Uh, but you look up there and everybody else is there. There's only three of us that are not there. I wonder if they're watching what we do. So do you or think? Or don't do. Or don't do. Mm. So, what recommendations, springing to the forward future, our brilliant future? What recommendations would you have for first human crew on Mars? Should they send the TV crew ahead of them? What did I say? The famous words, not a small step. You a said man. beautiful view, magnificent desolation. Uh, no, he said beautiful. Magnificent desolation. And I didn't think it was beautiful at all. So, but. Humans from Earth being here for a long time now, we're able to walk on the surface of this thing. What a magnificent tribute to our progress. But what a heck of a desolate place this is mm -hmm. that I'm looking at. Up here, it says, this hasn't changed in hundreds thousands of years. They look at the same thing. Yeah. 14 days of daylight, 14 days of darkness. Gets hot, it gets cold, no air. I don't see anything growing out there. Mm -hmm. This is the most desolate thing I've ever seen. Not beautiful. No, no. but magnificent. Magnificent for earthlings, human beings, mm -hmm. to have uh, either crawled out of the Garden of Eden or jumped down from the tree. Whatever your pleasure, here we are now, pup, 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 heading there. Uh, now, I want you to know, the president said uh, within this decade, we should send a man <laughs> to the moon. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. And bring him home safely. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, safely. He didn't say anything about opening the hatch and going out there. Right. No, now to get to the moon, you gotta land. Without a doubt, that landing was the most complex, the most significant, the most important achievement in the space program. Uh, it doesn't take a genius, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to go down a, land, a ladder and put your foot on a bunch of gray dust. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that's symbolic. Uh, that's the most important thing. Well, it is, it is. There's no doubt about it. And uh, that uh, should be set aside for the commander. It would not have been very uh, acceptable for Neil to look out his window and see me <laughs> taking a small step. <laughs> But there was a lot of training that had to be done by all the crew members, mm -hmm. but most, most important was the commander and the training that he had to do, because he was in charge. You don't think he let me control the spacecraft, do you? Oh, no. No, no. This is a one-time, a lifetime. And 
no co-pilots. Well, they didn't call them co-pilots. Commander and pilot. We're not going to let the pilot touch the control. <laughs> Don't let the pilot pilot. Yeah. Space.com.